one. In fact, it's the kind of project that only comes along about once per decade. It's a gorgeous new design that feels effortless to use. The stage is set for something new that will enable great experiences for years to come. Let's take a look. And it starts with an entirely new expressive material we call liquid glass. With the optical qualities of glass and a fluidity that only Apple can achieve, it transforms depending on your content or even your context and brings more clarity to navigation and controls. Elements once considered for rectangular displays have been redesigned to fit perfectly concentric with the rounded corners of the hardware. The lock screen has been updated with the time and controls now made of liquid glass. And swiping up to your home screen is even more delightful with this beautiful glass edge and a new sense of responsiveness. With iOS 26, we're giving camera a new, more intuitive design. A simplified and streamlined design elevates the two capture modes that you use most, photo and video. And all the powerful features that you love in camera are just a tap away. For example, just swipe your finger left or right to reveal additional modes like cinematic mode or portrait mode. And a simple swipe up lets you easily reach all your settings like aspect ratio and timers. And it's easier to change formats. All the options become visible with a single tap. CarPlay is the smarter, safer way to use your iPhone while you drive. With iOS 26, the new design extends into the car for a consistent, expressive experience while you drive, like a compact design when you get a call, so you can still see what's on the screen, like your upcoming directions. iOS 26 also gives you widgets in CarPlay. They're quick and glanceable ways to get information, which is perfect while driving. All of these updates also come to CarPlay Ultra, it's the very best of iPhone and your car. CarPlay Ultra lets you choose the layout and design of the most important information for you and adds vehicle controls for features like the radio and climate right in the CarPlay experience. We're also introducing a new way to help eliminate distractions like unwanted calls, which can get in the way of picking up the important calls we're waiting for. Now, when you receive a call from an unknown number, call screening helps you quickly gauge whether it's something important or just another pesky telemarketer. Building on live voicemail, call screening automatically answers calls from unknown numbers, silently in the background. Once the caller shares their name and the reason for their call, your phone rings. And you can view their response and pick up or ignore. No, hold on, I'll be down at the gate in a sec. There are moments when you'd like to express an idea, question, or feeling, but a language barrier gets in the way. To help you communicate across languages, we're introducing live translation. With Apple Intelligence, live translation can translate conversations on the fly. It's integrated into messages, FaceTime, and phone. For instance, in messages, live translation can automatically translate text for you. So if you're making plans with some new friends while studying abroad, your message can be translated as you type and delivered in their preferred language. And when they respond, each text can be instantly translated for you. When you're catching up on FaceTime, you can follow along with translated live captions while you continue to hear your grandmother's voice. Écoute ma chérie, ajoute une pincée de vanille et de l'eau de fleur d'oranger à la pâte. C'est ça mon secret. Right, yes. When you're on a phone call, your words are translated as you talk, and the translation is spoken out loud for the call recipients. Hi, are you available to cater a wedding on December 6th? Hallo, sind Sie für eine Hochzeit am 6. Dezember verfügbar? Visual intelligence builds on Apple intelligence to help you explore your surroundings. So you can simply press the camera control or action button to pull up ratings for a cafe you walk by, or find sneakers similar to the ones you see when you're out and about. Say I open a social media app, and I see this great jacket. I want to know where I can get something like this. I can find out with visual intelligence, and I can access it with a familiar gesture by pressing the same buttons I use to take a screenshot. 
Now at the top, I have screenshot controls like markup and share. At the bottom, I have visual intelligence tools like this image search button in the bottom right. I can tap here to find similar images on Google or other apps I use frequently. Apple Watch is indispensable. It brings a more expressive experience in places like the smart stack, the numerals of the photos face, control center, and in-app navigation and controls while bringing more focus to your content, starting with workout. For times when you need a little more inspiration, watchOS introduces an exciting new fitness feature, Workout Buddy. With Apple Intelligence, Workout Buddy can motivate you in a new and unique way based on your fitness history. The Workout app is updated, so it's easier to access what you need. As soon as you start your run, Workout Buddy can kick off with a pep talk. Great job starting your run. This is your second run this week. You're crushing it, closing that move ring for six straight days. Let's keep building on that with your run today. Fueled by some house vibes from Muramasa. Workout Buddy will also mark key moments. Four miles down. Your last mile was your fastest yet, coming in at eight minutes and 56 seconds. Your average heart rate for that split was 157 beats per minute and can help you celebrate accomplishments. You just crushed your 100th mile for running workouts this year. Keep up the great work. That's what's coming to watchOS 26. A delightful new design with liquid glass, more intelligence and messages, hints for the smart stack, and a new wrist flick gesture. With tvOS 26, we're making Apple TV more enjoyable than ever. As you settle into a show like your friends and neighbors on Apple TV+, Plus you will immediately notice how playback controls refract the content underneath, beautifully complementing the action without distracting from the story. This unobtrusive design carries through the control center. So when you're setting a sleep timer, the video still shines through. And as you browse, you'll see a bold new look with beautiful cinematic poster art, making it fun and easy to explore all your favorite shows and movies. Let me introduce you to macOS Tahoe. Starting with a stunning new design. Widgets, the dock, and app icons have been refined with liquid glass. And there are more ways to customize what controls appear in the menu bar and control center and how they're laid out. You can change the color of your folders and add a symbol or emoji to give them a unique identity. It's fantastic for projects. We're bringing live activities to Mac. So if you've ordered Uber Eats on your iPhone, the live activity also appears in the menu bar. And when you click, the app opens in iPhone mirroring, so you can take action directly on your Mac. And that wraps up macOS Tahoe, a stunningly powerful release. Let's start with some of the amazing new spatial experiences coming to Vision OS, like widgets. In Vision OS, they become spatial, integrating seamlessly into your space. And they are persistent, staying right where you place them. They're also customizable. Frame width, color, and depth can all be personalized to your liking. Vision OS now has beautiful new widgets like clock with distinctive and exquisitely detailed clock face designs. We've partnered with GoPro, Insta360, and Canon to support native playback of 180, 360, and wide field of view video on Vision OS. And there are many other new features we think you'll love, like a spectacular new Jupiter environment. Standing on the moon Amalthea, you'll be able to speed up time to watch enormous storms swirl across the gas giant as sunlight breaks across its surface. And that's Vision OS 26 a huge release that delivers more spatial experiences than ever before. iPadOS 26 is a giant release. It starts with a beautiful new design, making your entire experience more delightful. Let's get started with multitasking, where we're taking a huge leap forward. This is what you've all been waiting for, a new windowing system on iPad. When I first open an app, it shows up full screen. I can swipe home and open another, and it's still full screen. So if this is how you like to use iPad, it's just as simple as ever. But now I also have this grab handle in the bottom right to fluidly resize apps into Windows. 
If I previously resized apps, when I open them again, they open back in the exact same size and position. And now I also have a pointer that's more precise and responsive. When I use it to hover over these new buttons in the top left, they expand into familiar controls. I can use these to close or minimize my windows. And a tap on their app icon brings them right back. Another way I can arrange my windows is with tiling. Since this is designed for the unique qualities of iPad, I can simply flick windows towards the edges to tile. There's even a little grabber here to resize both at the same time. With this re-architected windowing system, I also have the power to open even more windows. And if I need an app that's not in my dock, I can simply swipe home to peek at my home screen. Tapping an app opens it, along with all my previous windows. To quickly see all my open windows, I now have Expose. With a swipe up from the bottom and hold, my windows spread out, and a tap brings the one I need to the front. If I need to make space or focus in on one app, I just swipe home, and another swipe up minimizes everything. So now when I open an app, it opens by itself, and I can start fresh, making it easy to always get back to the distinct simplicity of iPad. Sometimes you need a way to see and access all the features of an app. So we're also adding a menu bar on iPad. It's always available from the top of the screen. It's arranged to be familiar with clear labeled options. And it's a great way to find the features you need quickly. And that's a quick look at the menu bar and how windowing works in iPadOS 26. Back to you, Craig. So that's iPadOS 26 and they will be available to all users this fall.